I mm -hmm. was, I was like, okay, well, do I follow her around or somebody else mm -hmm. around? Do I, again, prostrate to myself? Do I do again beat myself? Do I? And as, and the realization was, there's nothing that you can give mm -hmm. me or take away from me. Mm -hmm. That it's always been here. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I just feel this like wave of grief, joy, sadness, anger, all of it. And it was, I've heard you say those words, like there's nothing that you can, and I was like, it didn't sink in somehow. Yes, and you have to hear it as many times as you hear it so that you actually turn your attention. It, is that the truth? Is that so within my own self? Yeah. And I watched myself last night kind of make up a story about, okay, well, I have to do this, or my husband did that, or somebody else. And I went like, what am I doing? No, 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 no. What am I doing? Oh, excellent. And, and I actually was laughing at myself, mm. which not in a negative way, <laughs> but just like, wow, it's so easy to take the off frame. <sighs> And so then you take it as comedy. Yeah. You laugh at it. Like, Whoa. Okay. I could go down that path. I could make him wrong. I could make, you know, whatever. And yeah, you know those those ways very yeah. well. And, and, you know, I, there was a question that popped up that sort of started from this. It was like, how long did you have to sit with Papa G for this to stick? <laughs> well, he said, as I was saying yesterday, vigilance until your last breath. So then you actually stop counting how long. I had read, prior to meeting Papaji in the Zen tradition, it says 10 years until establishment. And I didn't, I had just known that before, but 10 years after I had been with Papaji, I realized that it's like a ching ching, okay, 10 years, and it's like, oh, wait a minute, I'm, who's counting? Yeah. Who's looking for that? And that's the vigilance. It's like, what am I doing? What am I doing right now? And then so it's a light. It's not a, you know, okay, I gotta do this for 10 years, 20 years until my last breath. It's this lightness, effortless vigilance. And then it's natural because it's joyous and it's comedic and it's, it's certainly their tragedies at times, but yeah. you are free. And so thank you. Hmm. Mm, so happy, so happy to hear this. Really, the the cue for the vigilance is the suffering. So in that way, suffering is the proof that you aren't being true, but it's also the signal to bring you home, to, to get you to recognize, what am I doing? What am I telling myself? What am I thinking? Papaji said one twelfth of a second is all that's needed, just to... Okay, stop following the flow of condition. What am I telling myself? What's underneath that? So, you know, if I'm telling myself I should stop my thoughts, I'm not, I'm not even sure if that's possible to stop my thoughts. I can't stop my thoughts. I'll never be able to. That's what you're telling yourself. Now, what's underneath that? What's not being spoken? but is here, communicating itself. You discover it in an instant, and then you are willing to be true to that in whatever that means. You discover what it means to be true to that. Then you, you <coughs> see it in everybody, even people you dislike, even people who have cheated you. You will see in the core of the matter. Consciousness is present, aware of itself, overflowing in this awareness as joy, ananda. <laughs>